Hi everybody, Brie Weisard here from thefeatherbrain.com. I just wanted to share something really quickly with you today. And that is how I changed my feeders. And we are now saving at least <coughs> two thirds on what we were buying before. So they are eating, well, they were, I'm sure they were eating the same amount before they were wasting a lot, but now we are only going through about one third the amount of feed that we were before. And so originally I had always fed them <coughs> with the bell type feeders and they love those because they are able to scratch some of the food out and to beak it out with their beaks, which are very natural chicken behaviors. And I've had no problem with them wasting feed like that because I, I kind of consider it a part of their play. They really get a lot of joy out of that and they like eating it off of the ground better than they do from the feeder. And then we have just a ton of wild turkeys around here and they always come and clean up the excess. And then the second reason is the bell type feeders tend to be on the lower cost side. And because we free ranged our chickens and we have their feeders and waterers outside, uh, we also live in open range country in Idaho, which means that livestock, <laughs> including cows and horses, are allowed to go wherever they want. And if you don't want them on your property, you have to fence them out. And we just don't have good enough fencing to keep them out. So they come, they eat the chicken feed, they destroy the feeders. And we didn't want to buy something really expensive that we were going to have to replace pretty frequently. But then something horrible happened and basically comes down to there are just too many people moving in here now. There was hardly anyone here when we first moved here about four years ago. And we just haven't had a problem with predators since we've been here. But now that people are moving in, they're bringing their dogs. And so somebody's dogs got loose. And these people, they live a few miles away, but their dogs came down here and they killed seven of my chickens. And so, and they also killed several of the neighbor's chickens who live about a quarter mile away. Um, and I don't know if there are others or not, but because of that, I have sadly stopped free ranging my chickens. I feel very badly about that because they have been raised as free rangers and to keep them in a run it's not the same as if they just grew up in a run it's stressful for them because they've had their freedom and now they don't and their run wasn't in a condition where they could um be in here safe and dry so we've had to kind of we've done what we can i'll show you with what we could do in a short amount of time so the walls were already up and then we put this carport in here so that some of the run is covered and you can see some snow still kind of has gotten in through the edges and then on that side of the run it's not covered at all so there's snow over there and so I mean they have space but it's just it's not the life that they were living and uh yeah this run there's a lot there's a lot we need to do on it and those icicles over there I'm going to pull off right now to make sure that there's not some kind of chicken accident <laughs> but uh yeah so this run isn't it's not ideal it works in the short term and we're gonna have to figure all that out but this is the situation that I'm in now with them and so I'm only free ranging them with supervision so anyways that brings me to why we needed a new feeder it's because um Again, wasn't prepared for them to be living in the run. We didn't have good bedding in here. <laughs> There's a bunch of birds coming by that's making Pearly nervous. Um, so we ended up... I know, it's okay, guys. It's okay, Pearly. Um, we ended up just putting in some sand that we had. And now we don't want them beaking out and clawing out their food into the bedding that they're living on because it's just going to get moldy and gross. It's not like when it was they were out free ranging and the turkeys could take care of it. I don't want them living and pooping on old feed and then possibly eating it. So we decided to get them grandpa's feeders and grandpa's is a brand. You can get these feeders from other brands and they might be just as good. I have no idea. It's just I know I hear the grandpa's ones recommended a lot, and so that's why we decided to go to, with those. But let me show you them really fast. So you can see we've got a couple in here, and we do have some wild birds that come in and they have pooped on it. And so I'm sorry, that's really gross. But the food is protected, so that's good at least. And with these, just 
put the food in up there and then they step on this and it comes up and then the feed comes out down here and the way this starts out you start it out there's you actually put a screw in right here so it sticks out so that this can't close so you start it out totally open like that and then there's another place to put a screw in that's down a little bit lower so then it ends up being about half open and that requires the chicken to step on that for it to open all the way and it's important that it's open all the way to begin with because when they step on this and it makes this move up that surprises them and so by just doing it gradually like that so now when it's halfway closed they step on it and it barely moves up and then when it's all the way closed which is the third step when they step on it it really moves up but by this time they know how it works and so they're not afraid of it whereas if they were to just step on it and it moved up they'd likely be very afraid of it and so that's really all there is to it you just you have it all the way open for one week half open for one week and then you can close it and it's worked great we have saved so much money this winter on food it's incredible <laughs> It just, it feels like it takes them forever to go through a bag of feed. And I have never felt that way before. So um, this grandpa's one, definitely more expensive than your regular bell type feeder, but it really pays for itself quite quickly. All right. Happy chickening.